The maintenance pages allow pilots and maintenance personnel a method to access information on airframe operational history. Today, we are going to review how to get to these subpages. The aircraft's electrical system must first be powered up. Once the BEMD connects with the EECU, the parameters are displayed. To access the maintenance pages, the engine must be shut down and both lanes need to be operational. The first step is to shut off both the screens. The second step is to turn them both back on and then immediately depress and hold scroll and reset. Once the release key is displayed, the buttons are then released. The field that is highlighted can be accessed by depressing the enter button. The flight report section displays the last 31 flight reports. The numbers on the right side of the screen indicate which flight is being displayed. To view previous flights, the minus key is depressed. To then move back to the more recent flights, the plus key is depressed. To return to the maintenance menu, the reset button is depressed. The highlighted field is moved by depressing the select key. Again, to enter the menu, enter is depressed. The failure section displays the faults detected and recorded by the VEMD and related diagnosis. The VEMD can record up to 256 failures. These failures are stored in a memory which, once full, erases the former failures so as to store the new ones. The next flight that will occur is Flight 57. The last flight to have a failure was also Flight 57, which means the failure just occurred after we turned on the power and is a current failure. On Flight 57, there was one failure. In this airframe's life, there has been 10 flights with failures. To see previous flights that had failures, the minus key is depressed. To return to the more recent flights, the plus key is depressed. To view the failure or failures on a given flight, the enter key is depressed. If there was more than one failure on the flight, the plus and minus keys are used to view the individual failures. The timestamp at the top of the page shows the time after engine start during that flight that the failure occurred. In this example, the timestamp of zeros indicates the failure happened prior to start. The failure is displayed in the line replaceable unit box. To exit the menu, the reset button is depressed. The highlighted field is moved by depressing the select key. Again, to enter the menu, enter is depressed. The overlimit page displays values and times of exceedances that occurred on the last 31 flights. If all the values are zero, then there was not an exceedance recorded on that flight. To view previous flights, the minus key is used. To exit the menu, the reset button is depressed. The power check menu is only available on lane 2 and will be discussed in another Eurosafety tutorial. The functional times menu displays the accumulated operating time of the FADIC and the calculation modules of the VEMD. The EECU data menu displays the parameters which the FADIC is receiving. To exit the maintenance pages, both screens are turned off, then back on. 